How's it going ladies and gents, Reverend Saint back again with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you guys today. What we're going to be talking about is weapon DLC and other possible things that they could be putting in when it comes to weapons with the new DLC. So we're going to get into that here in a little bit, but first let's talk about this gameplay. TDM on Breach, I go 44 and 11 in TDM, yeah. Christmas noobs for days. Problem is, Christmas noobs were on my team, man. No one on my team broke 10 kills. I think the second amount, uh, most amount of kills on my team was 8. And we just barely win, man. I, I was going off. It was struggling here and there with a couple of lives. I just couldn't get some of the kills that I should be getting. And I think that's because I'm not used to the VMP. I, I really feel like the, they nerfed the VMP just a little too much. The Weevil now is a lot better than the VMP. I, I don't understand that. Uh, I, it just has not been doing for me what it did back in the day when the game first came out obviously they did nerf it and even right after that i didn't feel like they nerfed it uh too badly but then they nerfed it again i'm pretty sure and it's just not it's just not it doesn't feel quite right i don't know it might be the range but i'm working on finding the best uh setup for this gun for you guys so i can make a video on it but i have not found it yet i think it's only like level 10 now so i'm not quite there yet but in this gameplay i'm using the red dot quick draw grip uh, laser sight. I know. Uh, am I using? No, I'm not using laser sight. I'm using the red dot, quick draw grip, and then regular grip in this game. Uh, and it, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I like it with a red dot on it, but I think it's it is a little bit better with the iron sights once you get used to it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay in the background. I get my fat boots. I choked the double. I could have gotten them twice, but I definitely choked them. Or I can't remember how I died. I think I got shot in the back. It was kind of lame. I was pretty upset about. Oh no, I remember. I ran into a trip mine like a noob, like a scrub. Ugh. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Now, here's what I want to talk about. I, there has been no info on weapons in the next DLC as, as far as I'm concerned. I don't remember them mentioning it in the trailer. Uh, I don't remember or the uh, the behind the scenes type thing, the dev blog or dev log that they released about the DLC. And a lot of people are wondering, a lot of people want that. I know I've got some friends that, are, that say they're going to be kind of disappointed if they don't put a new weapon in this DLC. Now, I don't think they're going to take that step back. Now, I don't think they have to. Personally, in my opinion, is they can they can go without it at least in the first DLC but a lot of people would be upset and I don't think they need to do it but they could do it you know like so many games the past two games have done it a lot they've introduced a lot of new guns as the DLC has rolled out and it's been really cool and a lot of people have really enjoyed it so I think it'd be very beneficial for them to introduce at least one new gun but I don't think they absolutely positively have to. Now, I also don't think they will do it normally. I think what they might do is kind of what Advanced Warfare did is introduce it with supply drops. You're not going to get it unlocked right away. It might not even show up for you right away. They might be kind of keeping it a little bit of a secret, you know? And a lot of the stuff in this game has been kept under wraps until people have found it, which I think is really freaking cool. Uh, they also kept under wraps the fact that were they were adding more ranks and more supply drop items, you know, the day after I reset my stats because Vonderhaar said to be patient because the game's only been out a month. Still a little salty about that, I do apologize. <laughs> but it, I still think they could do that or sneak it in there and just surprise people. I think that would be really cool and that might be what they're doing. They might have that up their sleeves or maybe they don't know uh, if they're going to do it yet or just yet or how they're going to do it. They could be thinking about releasing gun variants and i really hope they do not do that i think gun variants is what kind of ruined advanced warfare uh for a lot of people and even myself because it kind of it was it was borderline pay to win the best guns in the game came out of supply jobs whether it was the obsidian c the inferno the insanity all of them came out of supply drops and I mean I know I spent a lot of money on them a lot of other people spent a lot of money on them you didn't get them very often throughout the game so they were very hard to get without spending money you could do it it was just extremely difficult to actually get them so to me it's gun variants are bad uh, especially when they're random drops like that I don't think they should do it I think all the guns should be the base guns like they are right now I think doing camos is a great idea possibly adding a new gun is a great idea as long as everybody can get it without having to pay for it I don't like the, uh, the aspect of having to pay for it, other than obviously buying the DLC 
Uh, once you have the DLC, you should be able to get that gun, whether it be out of a supply drop or not. In this game, supply drops are pretty dang easy to get. So that's, you know, that's just kind of how it works. But here's another thing that has to be brought to mind when, you, when you're talking about it coming in a supply drop is duplicates. You know, you don't want to always be getting that gun over and over again. Uh, with that DLC, you want to be get, be able to get a bunch of other stuff, and I and I bet also they're gonna add a ton of other stuff that you can get out of supply drops, new camos, new outfits for your characters, new taunts, whatever. A lot of that stuff is most likely going to be coming with DLC as well. Now I did see some people complaining; they 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 think that adding the weapons into deals or into the supply drops is a bad idea. The butterfly knife, the wrench. Already people I've seen people complaining about that. I don't understand why. They're so extremely rare, I don't think I've ever seen one in a game yet. And also, it's not like they're overpowered or anything. They're just like a regular combat knife, as far as I'm concerned. You can just do sweet flips, you know, with them, and, and do sweet animations. You can do that with your fists now, too. You can slam it into your other hand. To me, I, I, it's not a big deal. I actually kind of like the aspect. It kind of makes you get really excited when you're opening up a, uh, a supply job trying to get one of those things. It's kind of like knife hunting in CSGO, but a lot cheaper, I feel. Um, but And I like that. That was something that I said I would hope they would add to this game. Uh, I said that way back. I had a discussion video with uh, Prestigious Q, uh, and we talked about this, and that was something I said. If they did it like CSGO, it would be great, and they're kind of doing that now with the with the butterfly knives, with the wrenches, with the way the camos work, uh, and all that. They're kind of doing that, and I really, really like it. I really do. So I hope they keep it up. I hope they add more stuff that way, but no gun variants, and if they're going to do a DLC gun, I bet they're probably going to sneak it in there. Now, here's another question is, what could they do? Do you think, do you, I want to ask you guys this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Would you rather have like a throwback gun DLC, like an MP40 or MP44, whatever that one was. Yeah, MP44 in uh, like Advanced Warfare did, or like a, maybe like a Tommy gun or, or M1 Garand even. That would be kind of sweet. Something just old school kind of throwbacky. And not, not really futuristic at all. Not like a rendition of it, but like the legit gun like the, with the look and the feel, everything. I think that would be really freaking cool. I don't know. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If there is gun DLC, how would you like to get it? Would you like it to be a supply drop or what do you think it's going to come as? And also, what kind of weapon do you want it to be? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.